Hey guys, Mr. Razor HD here, and uh, today I'm bringing you my first tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to export a logo into Cinema 4D. So uh, first of all, you want to delete the background if there is a background. Make sure to delete it, or else it won't work. And uh, after that, you click on Control or uh, Command, and click on um, click on uh, the little picture that's next to the layer that you want to uh, select as your logo. So now you see it's uh you see it's all selected for you. Uh your logo is selected. So after that you want to go into path and uh click on the little button that you see next to path here and click on make work path. Leave the tolerance to 2 or you could play with that if you want, but I just leave it to 2. And you see this is the first way, but it's also it it isn't really good, but it it's really fast. If it works, it's fast. So now you see it's not really straight the lines aren't straight and it's kind of ugly so what I, I what I'm gonna do is uh, delete the path that we just made and uh, take make this try and the second way which is way longer so I'm just gonna show you uh, how to do it for like two um, only for two shapes of the logo or else it will take uh, too much time so uh, okay I'm just gonna do it for this one I got a few tips for you when you're using the pen tool. If you want a straight line, click on shift and click where you want. Like this and like this. You see? Straight lines. Um, I'll choose this this one too because uh, it has some curves to it. And I want to show you another tip with that. So uh, shift for straight lines. And after that... Um, you see here if you okay you want to do uh you want it to come back directly after you made your your thing but you can't cuz if you leave it like this and you click here uh, it won't be uh, in the shape that you want so what you want to do is do the same thing except click on alt before and you can move this in the direction that you want it next so i'm going to move it there and uh finish it up so now i got my two paths um, my logo selected will say logo because I can't do the rest and uh, go in path and make sure you have your word path here so after that you want to go in file and uh, export paths to illustrator on ok and uh, name it how you want then you want to open up cinema 4d and uh, this is where the 3d happens uh, you go into file merge Autobots, that's what I named it, and uh, leave it like this, don't change anything, and now you have your logo, well, your path that you just did selected. So, now you see it's only a path, you don't see the 3D on it, so what you want to do is go into Extrude NURBS, you see the little uh, box thing here that's green, just hold, it, hold uh, your mouse button on it and just Extrude NURBS click on the extrude nibs and then uh, drag your uh, path into it but you see it's still not 3d so what you want to do is go into um, click on extrude and make sure you're an object and you'll find a, a button that you could take that's name is high atrical I think high kill or whatever and um, it just adds okay so now you see it's 3D after I ticked it. But I want to load a material to it and I want it to look like stone or metal. So uh, I'm just going to make it look better. So I'm just going to add some death and some caps. Okay, so now it looks a little better. I could do it better, but it's just I don't have uh, that time right now for my tutorial. So uh, you want to uh, make a new material and double click on it go into the colors tab and uh, you see there's a texture uh, texture and there's like a little arrow next to it click on that and load image after that you want to select your texture I'm gonna select this one that looks like stone and um, yes you go after that you want to click on the environment tick it on and uh, do the same thing with the same image or else it won't look really realistic so uh, take the same one and uh, click OK and
take the brightness down a little bit. Then what you want to do is go into bump and I want it to look like stone but uh, you could make it look however you want. You want to go into the textures like the same before but go into surfaces this time and uh, select what you want from here. I'm going to use um, marble or metal. I'm going to use metal and uh, add the strength to 100. After that, uh, you could just exit out and just drag your material onto your logo. And let's see how it looks like. Okay, so it looks good. It looks like, um, like I said, stone. So uh, that's it, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, please comment below uh, asking me other tutorials, and uh, I'll do them for you. So uh, that's it. Thank you.